Okay, so earlier my opponent argued that uh, getting rid of general education will cut salaries and jobs for professors. And this kind of just goes back to my argument uh, that I talked about earlier that it's all about money. Um, college kids who are just starting their careers should not be forced to fund the jobs of these professors at the expense of years of debt and uh, years wasted doing busy work. Doing busy work. Um, these college professors are often doing this as a side job, and if they're not, it's usually because they're a core teacher of their classes, which getting rid of general education won't affect them anyway because they're still going to have all of the core students that are taking that specific major. Um, the opponent argues that general education opens up new interests. And uh, according to Dr. Hager, the P with a PhD in uh, chemistry, he says, this doesn't really make sense as the best time to uh, consider and ponder one's academic future. Um, the best place to do that is away from the school environment where you will not, where you will not be unduly influenced. Better yet, it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to conduct these experiences. If you have to go to college to figure these things out, you'll waste thousands of dollars and thousands of hours in useless toil. Um, the opponent also has argued that uh, a lot of people get jobs that are unrelated to their major, which is fine, but just as I just talked about, uh, you shouldn't be experimenting with that in college while you're paying for it. You can figure that out outside of college doing research on your own. But if you do want to do that, that option is still there. You're allowed to go to community college and try to figure out what you're doing. But because certain students want to figure out what they're doing doesn't mean that kids who already have decided it should have to go through all these general education classes as well. Uh, another quote from Dr. Aker is, general education courses distract the student in all types of ways. For some, college is necessary, and there are special certifications that are needed to make sure society does not collapse. Engineers, medical professors, and lawyers all need distinct design courses to ensure that they are successful in the real world. That's what the college education is about, not trying to decide where you want to go. Um, also, the opponent argues uh, that general education creates a well-rounded resume which sounds good and all, but that's a choice. If you want a well-rounded resume, there's plenty of things you can do and not have to pay for it. And not be forced to go jump through these hoops that general education makes you jump through. Um, and there's also, again, people who don't want that well-rounded resume. They're going into a very specific major coding or, I don't know, rocket science or something, and they're still being forced to pay for these general education classes just because for certain people it may help them find what they want to do. And that's not really fair. That. So that just it's not really a good argument to say that general education should be there for everyone because it benefits certain people. Um, as a final quote, I'd like to say, uh, America was built upon the freedom of choice and the courage of men and women to become independent thinkers and doers. Colleges uniformly discourage the American spirit by allowing these draconian policies that make the general education courses mandatory. Thank you.